the pressure on this game and its implications. Could be he's coming off the bench to observe what's going to happen first before they get him in. Being defended by Mike Daniete right away. Bahio aggressive drive to the basket for the first two points of this game. Oh, that number one guard for them on the fly. Garcia, that's a tough shot, kisses it off the glass. Serrano, that's a block, rejected. Cuecote, Liu is ahead of the pack. Ooh. Basket and one, what a way to get your first basket of the game for the Bacor City Strikers. In the open floor, unafraid of the defense that's put up, but it really... And then opening it up for this clear layup shot. And an end one for Lee of uh, Bacor doing a good job challenging those paint incursions. How about this one? Uh, talking about paint incursion, well, Jamal, his return has really made a big boost para dito sa front court ng Bacor City Strikers. And that's not boost to them as they go deep into the playoffs, but here, Balti Baltazar imposing his will on that i was gonna say the same have is you know pretty good defense here by agilus and look at him running that seal beautiful feed and every open opportunity that's gonna put a lot of uh, pressure as well for balti to come down and defend and here going downhill james quekote now look at quekote rejecting that screen snake dribble balti on him had to give it up on the but tip sean Three for three. Thought it was short. He was going for the offensive rebound, but he swishes it through. That's the th most of because last year he was the head of that snake. Right. Together with Jason Apolonio and Mitchell Minus. One of the leading shot blockers in the game. Working against Marky. Offensive rebound. He gives it to in and out on the push shot. Binuya. Nobody stopping the basketball. He'll go all the way for two. There you see Raymond Binuya. Aside from the things that Coach Mike mentioned, it's also the experience that he brings. Imagine from being a guy who has rode that Pampanga bench to now the most veteran team on that roster. Correct. <laughs> there have been a lot of upsets that right. has happened here this season, and that has made right. attack the defense of Marquis. Correct. So every time your defender is marquee, forget the place. You gotta attack it. Oh, what a move! And yet again, they go at him. Times already. Every time you get off that initial action, you know that last defender is gonna be marquee and you gotta attack that. Binuya pushing, attacking. De Leon on oh, the wow. follow. in this pool play and so you really can't rest if you're number one right now mark Yi pops out on the flare that's a three-pointer as you look at the first quarter field goal story on your screen in every position it's really three man deep and it's been a challenge for coach alex angeles to really have a consistent substitution pattern as mark Yi drains another three-point shot gets it serrano three for three he knew it was short. Oh, wow. Gets the offensive rebound. Oh, man. Right. Rebounding story, 20 to 10. I think, I think they're going more Balti now without Marquis on the floor. We're right on cue, Coach Mike. Eruta. Pocket pass. Egilos. Baltazar will... Uh, Egilos actually doing a good job of moving without the ball, but... Archie got Sean wide open for the two points. Egilos tried to leave it for Michael Cañete. But uh -oh. the this is going to uh -oh. be a slam. Uh, not quite. We were talking about that open floor basketball. There was the two points. James Cuecote, two out of 13 against Nueva Ecija. There you go. Finally gets one here. Garcia cutting middle. Crosses to the other side. Bahio, tough shot. And this is going to be a back down altogether. Egilos puts Balti to school. Oh, wow. Feet, feet. Watch for Archie now. Serrano, top of the circle. Oh, three. Wow. That is down and through. Para kay Encho Serrano. Eugler has the confidence in the guts to oh. go up against. Well, the Montuano. 
Shot clock is winding down for the strikers. Ooh. A bailout three by Zan Nermal. This kid continues to amaze. Nermal was actually OR2 from the field. All right, there's the shot. Uh, watch Heruta down low. Squad of the South versus the top team in the North. Jan Ermal hit the three from there. Earlier. <laughs> and another make. Para dito kay Jan Ermal. He's got Coach Mike Perez so excited here beside me. Got that screen. That defender got held up. How about that rise for that three? Yeah, he already has the height Ooh, yeah, wow. to be able to. Mm -hmm. Especially here in the second half of this second quarter. Jan Ermal free! Pushing foul at number 10, Mark Montuano, that's his first. There you see the field goals this quarter. It's 6 out of 12 for Pampanga and 7 of 13 for Bacoor. And one more coming to the wrong guy. Here he is, Raymond Binuya. Will challenge Jamo Egelos. Look at this one. He knew that bigger guy was coming. Just lifted. Before Eglos could even get the pressure, Sangalang shows hard. Liu attacks. Oh, wow, what Leaves a pass! Jabo Eglos clear for the slam! Oh, my goodness! Shout it out. <laughs> 12 points in this game, and that is the exceptional pass that's brought to you by Burake Deli at the official hotel and resort of the MPBL. with a basket and one for three points. Spin baseline. Single coverage against Egilos. JB Bayo, the offensive rebound. Bender coming. Samantala, itong uh, Pampanga right now going on zone. Egilos. Jumper all the way. Wow. <laughs> Egilos only missed once here. He's six out of seven from the field. Baltazar, this time he's cutting. And Aldaya only has two points so far to his name. Baltazar. Egilos trying to power his way to the defense. Inside, outside, ball movement here for the strikers. <laughs> Ends up with a basket in one. Para dito kay Jan Nermal. All defense, so everybody had to defend whoever was in front of them. Right there, spin going middle. And just cleared it out for Nermal. Strong finish too through contact. They get it to Enzo. Shot clock at 10. Serrano. Grab it. Floater until the third period. But the fourth quarter was just a different story. Binuya sidestep to the basket. Oh, wow. And the score. A miss from the outside by Mark E. Apolonio. Touch pass. What a great sequence for Pampanga in the open floor. And, and here. The fast break opportunity capitalized on by Pampanga. Handling ability yeah. has gone so far. He's able to handle oh, wow. that kind of defensive intensity, but great action on that play by Michael Cañete and James Cuecote. Almost blocked again by Jammer Hamito that forced him into the tough pass. Cuecote hangs in the air and scores! That's his first miss of the game. Apolonio with the offensive rebound. Good job. A steal by Veloria. Pastoran is unbothered on the other side for two points. Well, this is just a th way. Mm -hmm. 12.3 seconds remaining. Oh, wow. Yan ang tinatawag mo na ka play. For James Quicote. Remember, ahead, JB Bayo. This is going to be an easy Ooh. start. The chase down by James Quecote. Three. Right. And that stride, too. Look at that. Look at that leap. Oh, you be the judge of that, Coach. Oh, he got hit on the board already. That's going to be counted. Yeah. Made a great program out of his province. There you go. In terms of basketball. 
that guy can score the basketball. For those threes in case that defense sacks off him. Oh, wow. Fourth like this one. Chito Jaime. Short. Mark Montuano. Gets the hoop and the harm. But placing yourself in the right place at the right time. What his team needs him to do. Oh, that's a block by Concepcion. Aguilus had it, but never giving up defensively. Archie. Yeah. And that lack of control, all, all, all the almost lack of control. Just woken up in the fourth. Nirmal gathers and scores in the south. Concepcion off the screens. No good. Oh, look at Raymond Binuya pick James Quekote's pocket. Wow. Dangerous pass. Serrano intercepts. Serrano trying to take separation. Or <laughs> my celebration. Oh, what's happening here? Oh, boy. That happened so quick. I was looking at the numbers here on right, my laptop. Me too, me too. Of excitement. There you see, it's Raymond Binuya and Chito Jaime. Uh-huh. Oh. Uh, what do you call it? Acted as if he was pushed. Yeah. And then that started the confrontation between Pekote and Concepcion. Well, how about our... Foul on number 15, James Cuecute, his first technical foul on number 2, Archie Concepcion. Technical foul on number 28, Chito Jaime. Technical foul on number 15, James Cuecute. Technical foul on number 30, Raymond Binuya. All for Unsportsmanlike Bank. Raymond Binuya out of the playing court. Two to two technical fouls. Oh, wow. For the game, he's, he's what, five out of six from the field. Came up with 12 points, 13 minutes. Serrano here. What has been different para dito sa Bacoor City compared to what Batangas did against Pampanga in terms of defense as <clears throat> the guards actually scored from the outside, especially in that crucial second half. You see this made three right there. By Nermal, he could make shots para sa kanila. Heruta, floater inside the lane. That's good. That's a big basket for the striker. Heruta Coming back from an injury, his first game back. He's wearing that mask because of that broken nose. Yeah, and you can see, see uh, Baltasar in between the Giant Lanterns and the Bacoor City Strikers. Nermal from the outside. What a big shot. Garing dito kay Zan Nermal tonight. Garcia losing Heruta and Aaron. Action by uh, Pampanga. Garcia at the line, he misses. That's his first miss tonight. Able to drain the second. With that half-court defense set by Pampanga, which is exactly what happened to them. In so the strikers will slide down to 16 and 4. Got Bacoor. Or that tells the top teams that they're getting. They're and that's it.